my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are back with more Miraculous. I am super excited to continue watching. I hope you guys are as well. So today we are going to be watching the episode The Bubbler. Now, if you are watching on Netflix, this is episode one. Um, But off the ordering we are going off, we are going off the original France air date. So this is technically episode two for them. So it's always going to be confusing. I'm just going to go off of episode titles versus the actual episode numbers because that's just a lot. So I'm excited to continue watching. I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you have been enjoying Miraculous. <laughs> so please keep in mind, guys, to go support the official release of Miraculous over on Netflix. And of course, if you want to see my full uncut reactions, you can check out my Patreon page, link down in the description below to get access to that. But without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Your birthday? Oh, his Happy birthday. birthday, Adrian. Okay, uh, honey, you have a real problem. Your schedule, Adrian. Thanks, Natalie. Hey, uh, my father get back to you about my birthday party? Well, um, he doesn't think it would be a good idea. Oh. Of course not. Happy birthday, Adrian. Thanks. Dude, seriously? Bubbles! You can do it. Aww. You can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You know what? I'm gonna have a little combo with your pops. Don't waste no, your time. No, don't. Change his mind. Now is the time. <laughs> oh. Wow, you're the worst. Also, why blue eyeshadow? There's nothing blue in your outfit. Like, I get sometimes I'll wear blue eyeshadow, but like, that's because something matches on my outfit or my hair. What did you get? I didn't. You did. And it better be amazing, and it better not be lit. Oh, wow, you're the worst. You're actually the worst. Oh. Oh, what's for fudge? Ring the doorbell. Are you kidding? What if Adrian answers us? Oh, oh, all right then. You signed the note, right? Huh. Uh, girl, girl. What is wrong with you? Why you did the big thing all this time and you never signed it? Did you remember to buy my presents for me? Uh, uh, but you didn't ask me to. Of course I did. Yes, Mr. Gress, I I'll take care of it. <gasps> no. No, don't you dare. You don't even know what it is. Adrian's not home yet. Uh, I was coming to see you, dude. Sorry. Me? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Look, I know you don't want Adrian to have a party, but it's his birthday, dude. I mean, sir, it's only once. No, oh, God. It's fine. All people can go f themselves. I'm going to live forever, and then I walked off. <laughs> Pretty stubborn. It's just best to stay out of his way. It's not fair, Adrian. Harsh. I'm cool. I mean, life isn't fair, though. Thanks, Adrian. Just saying. I mean, you have to keep in mind, Adrian's kind of like a celebrity, right? He does photo shoots, he's a model. Like, I kind of get the dad's point of view, but it is rude. Like, you gotta let your child have a party if they want a party. Unless it's COVID, then you don't. Desperate to help his friend, but feeling powerless. How oh, frustrating. It won't be long before frustration turns Wait. to anger. Wait, did he say no just to cause this? Wait, because that's dad, right? I mean, it's the same voice actor. It's Keith Silverstein. <laughs> Is that dad? Wait, did you, were you a dick just to have this happen? Huh. Hogmore is my name, and Bubbler is now yours. Oh. I will help you so he does make the names. Good to know. 
I was curious last episode. Oh. No more adults means total freedom. This is so sweet. The purple. Oh no, I take everything I said back. That's not cool. That's that's terrifying. Oh no. Um and now party time. <laughs> oh. Guess what? Daddy's gone while the cats are where the mice will play. Oh! Nico, the bubblers brought all your homies together for one single sole purpose to set the yeah. Oh! Thank you to all the young people. Um, <laughs> you old people. Uh, uh, dance or else you'll join the adults up in the sky. Oh! Wow! Um, gee, not threatening at all. What's your problem? Relax. You're getting the party you've always wanted. Oh. But Neil's been acclimatized. I've got to help him. You may never get this chance again. Come on. Let's have a little fun while your father's away. I mean... Then we'll save Nino, trap his Akuma, and all will be good. You know, he okay. does make a good point. Right. This might be the first day in my life that I actually get to do what I want. Yeah, actually. <laughs> like, you probably will never get a day like this again. Because your dad seems like a dick. Hey, nice party, I guess, since it's my first one. Oh, oh, you're so sad. Is this careless whisper? <laughs> it sounds like careless whisper. Oh, oh, what? What? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, they like this song? Just hijack my mix. Yours truly. Yeah. Uh oh. Better bug out quick before I change back to normal. Wait, we weren't even gone that long. What? Better than that, it was an emergency. Yeah. If by emergency you mean jealousy, you know it happens once you use your lucky charm. You only have to oh. turn back. I know, but I figured. The bubbler, he's not going anywhere. Okay, to okay, to okay. To get your energy back fair, back. fair. Right I, back. I was confused. I was like, wait, what? So when she uses Lucky Charm, she just didn't have a lot of time left. Where have you been, girl? I was so scared oh. something happened to you. Me too. There's something I have to do first. It's about Adrian. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, girl. Oh. Look, now you can sign your gift. <gasps> Good. Spots on, Marinette. I kept it. Marinette always here. What'd you say? Hey, oh. Go ahead. I'll meet you in the yard. You could have just signed your name on the bar. They can just take the sticky note off. Sorry, Bubbler, but the party's over. Why are you gotta be like that? Uh, bah, you're seriously ruining the vibes. Oh. Oh, but your prince is here to save you! Oh! I had it under control. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well that's unfortunate. What do you think you're doing, Mother? You're supposed to see the miraculous. Oh, right. Oops. Forgot about that part. We can't stay set in this bubble together forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't mind it. Oh, oh, we didn't have a plan. Okay, that works. The cats are afraid of heights. Got to get to his bubble sword. That's gotta be where the Akuma is. Oh, better hurry. Okay, so if he uses Cataclysm, he will also run out of time faster. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I'm understanding. Oh, whoa, there's like combustion ones. I'm gonna switch back soon. Hurry! Okay, come on. Your plumbing skills gonna help us out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I play the Mario games. I'm an excellent plumber. <laughs> come on! Oh! Oh! Well, nice shooting there, Tex! Bye, little butterfly. 
butterfly. Oh, bye bye little butterfly. Right, I missed that last time. That's cute. Bye bye little butterfly. I was too focused on the D evil eye. Dude. Dude. You can't run forever, Ladybug. And when I catch you, I will crush you. I will destroy you fully. Okay. Dude, you need to find a new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> a birthday present from your father. Uh. Thank you. I mean, please say thank you to my father for me. Oh. Uh. Well, that doesn't feel good. I mean, not for a week. There were no adults yesterday to deliver it. So what? Oh. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Serves Chloe right. Hey, girls. Oh. Hey, that's my scarf. He's wearing my scarf. Hey, dude. Yo, nice scarf, Adrian. Off the chain. Yeah, can you believe my dad got this for me? Oh. You've got to tell him you're the one who needed the scarf. But he seems so happy about he his does. Dad. I don't want to spoil it for him. Yeah, seriously, no, he probably I wouldn't wear not. it like this. You're an amazing girl. You know that, right? And someday Adrian will figure it out too. Aww. God, you're such a good BF. BFF. Dang. Oh, yeah, you're the best. All right, so we got to meet Nino in this episode, which, honestly, a really chill dude. I like his... I like his chill vibes. I can kind of roll with it. Um, did he just happen to have bubbles this episode? Or, like, is that, like, a character trait where he just always has bubbles? A little confused on that, but I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> it's just a little weird. But, overall, I like this episode because it does create this, um, interesting topic. Now that, you know, I am... A adult. I can say that. I'm an adult. I pay a mortgage. I'm an adult. <laughs> um, I like, especially rewatching this episode now, because when I watched this episode, I would have been like 2021 ish. So I definitely have a different perspective on things. Um, and, you know, I still kind of relied on my parents for some things. Like, I was still in college. I was still lived in the dorms. So, I definitely can fall more on the adult side of things where it's like, no, we need adults. We do need them. Like, um, I need, like, food to live. I need my phone. I need electricity. I need a lot of things. We need adults. They are important. Granted, yes, some adults can just be bleh, and like the worst, but we need parents. We need adults. They're supposed to be the ones to help us understand how to navigate this crazy world. And honestly, I think the, the big problem that kind of comes up with all of that is that there are different parenting styles out there. You know, there's authoritarian... There's more uh, a love and logic side. <laughs> and there are more neglectful parents, things like that. So there are a lot of different ways you can raise a child. And some are not positive. I, I am a firm believer that there should be always an open conversation to everything. Like if a child's going to approach their parents and be like, I want to do this. I don't think a parent should ever just be like, no. Like, I just don't find that logical. I always think there should be a conversation to be had there. So that way your child or a child could understand why you're saying no. Because just saying no creates a lot of anger and frustration. And I think that's where it really comes from here in um, Adrian's dad. Why Nino is so upset at him for just saying no. And I think you're a bad influence, so no. Because you're making him question things. I think there should be. Like, I was like, I want to have a sleepover. It's like, well, keep in mind that we have to go to this place or like we have to go to church in the morning at like 8 a.m. and you're going to be really tired and I need to make sure that you look okay. And if we do this, you have to make sure you bring your church clothes and that you are presentable or we need to make a plan. Like, you can't just go over. We have to call their parents. You know, there's a lot to be talked about. Or, you know, they're like, why can't I dye my hair pink or something? You know, there's, there's, 
things you could discuss. Like, well, you know, we need to, if this is something you want, we need to either look into school rules and make sure that's okay. Along with that, we need to make sure that, um, you, if this is something you want, you need to be able to afford it, which I think is the smartest way for things like that. It's like, you need to save up your money and then we can get your hair colored because hair coloring is expensive. And I think it's way more fun to go in and get your hair colored than do it yourself or have someone else do it. I think it's more fun to go in (laughs) and it just looks nicer too. Right, Grace? (laughs) So I, I like this episode just for the fact that I get to um, gush about being an adult and talk about that. Cause I think it's very easy to be like, Ooh, the hair, it's blah, 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 blah. But I think, honestly, you need to have an open mind. I know that can be hard when you're younger, but there is a reason and your parents should have open conversations with you because you're a, you're a human being, you know? You're a human. You deserve that much. You deserve to understand why they said no. You deserve to have a conversation about it because this is your life too. Granted, do I think everything needs a conversation? No. If you're like, I want to go skydiving off a bridge. I don't think your parents need to sit with you for like two hours to discuss why that's a bad idea or why you shouldn't. You know, there's some things that are just silly, but I think it is fun to talk to your child because I feel like it's a way to understand them and understand their wants and needs as well because they do, you know? I remember when I was like 12, 13, like there are certainly things I wanted, things that I cared about that I never got to communicate. So I think it is important. So if you're a parent, make sure you talk to your child. And if you're a child, make sure to try to get your needs and wants communicated to your parents in a healthy way as well. And you know, sometimes that involves, if they don't want to listen, write them a letter. They don't want to read it. Then you can send them a text message. They don't want to do that. You can uh, send a nice note to your principal and your principal can read it to your parent. (laughs) There's always ways to make your parents listen. (laughs) There is. I mean, just being honest. (laughs) But yeah, so super good episode. I really, I like the animation a little bit better in this episode. I don't know why, but... The visuals seemed a little less awkward. Like, Stormy Weather had a lot of weird, like, angled shots that were, like, in your face, like, I'm running. Where I felt like this episode didn't have that as much. They're a lot more stylized and following through shots than being, like, a weird angled shot. So, yeah, I don't know. But I definitely had a great time watching this episode. I hope you guys did as well. I'm really enjoying Miraculous. And like I said, I'm really glad that we get to watch it again. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. Please remember if you like this to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And I'll see you all later. Bye.